Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to the Joint Force. I'm so proud of each and every sailor, soldier and aviator who served on and supported Australian Defence Force operations throughout the year. This year, 11,471 Defence personnel have served on operations both at home and across the world to help those whose lives and safety were under threat. Whether at sea, on land or in the air, you have performed your duties impeccably, defending our home and our national interests. Over the last 12 months, you continued to contribute to upholding the international rules-based system through our commitment to train recruits from the armed forces of Ukraine in the United Kingdom and our enduring peacekeeping missions in Egypt, Israel, Lebanon, Syria and South Sudan. In our region, through Indo-Pacific Endeavour, you delivered on important investments in diplomatic and defence partnerships across Southeast Asia and the Northeast Indian Ocean region. And you worked with our Pacific partners to support Solomon Islands as they hosted a safe and secure Pacific Games. Closer to home, you provided assistance and reassurance to our neighbours, friends and families following the isolation of communities in the flooded Kimberley region in Western Australia and to Vanuatu in the wake of tropical cyclones Judy and Kevin. You participated in the largest ever exercise talisman saver, which was held across five states and territories with more than 34,000 personnel from 13 nations. Joining forces across sea, land, air, cyber and space to test our combined capability to conduct high-end multi-domain warfare and build on our military to military ties. This is also a solemn reminder to remember those we tragically lost during a training incident this year. Captain Daniel Lyon, Lieutenant Maxwell Nugent, Warrant Officer Class 2 Joseph Laycock and Corporal Alexander Nags. It is important that we take the time to recognise their sacrifice and significant contribution to enable the defence mission. The future of the Joint Force is underpinned by our people and as the Australian Defence Force members, we depend on our families for their understanding when their partners, sons, daughters, mums, dads and friends are called on for duty, sometimes far away from home and for long periods. More than 1,000 Australian Defence Force personnel will be on deployments during Christmas holiday season in various parts of the world. It is tough being away from loved ones at this time and I can't thank our families and friends enough for their support. I wish all of you and your families a safe and happy Christmas and look forward to working together again in 2024.